Hey guys, what's up? Majestic Gaming here, and today is a huge day because we finally, after years, have our first look at Halo Infinite Collectibles and the brand new toys from an entire new license holder being Wicked Cool Toys. We do have a look at a bunch of different things they're making that I'm going to go through. Keep in mind, this is really recent news and we don't have that many actually good looking pictures because just the way that we revealed a lot of people that normally go around Toy Fair taking all the pictures haven't gotten a chance to go in there yet and just take a bunch of high quality like good res pictures so we only have like six and you can't tell much so I will definitely be doing another video on all the Toy Fair stuff when it does end up coming out for everything Halo and about some of the more wicked cool toy stuff when we do get better pictures I just wanted to get an initial one out there talking about my reactions so without further ado let's get started so yeah guys, when you see this, it's actually kind of crazy because I feel like it's been a really long time since we've been able to look at an entire like wall of just new Halo stuff and been like, wow, that's really awesome. Kind of reminds me of the days of like Halo Reach and just going to a Target and seeing the lines and stores filled with Halo stuff. It was really cool. So for Wicked Cool Toys, we are going to start with a bunch of cosplay and display items as they say. And first we're going to get a look at a classic energy sword. I actually think this looks really great. It obviously is more of a classic look and it's really cool. We are also getting cosplay helmet type things, which kind of Marvel kind of has those with like they have Spider-Man ones, the Black Panther ones, and stuff like that. So we are going to be getting those and we're going to be getting a Carter one, a Chief one, and a Palmer one. And it's kind of worth noting that even though obviously that is a Carter one that they're getting. These all are, every single thing up here pretty much is marketed with the Halo Infinite brand attached to it. I just thought that was interesting to point out. Obviously, I don't think Carter is going to be in the game, but it is just, I assuming, for marketing purposes and because uh, Wicked Cool Toys is making the toys for Halo Infinite. So that does make sense. It is cool we're getting these with a new company making the merch, and I'm pretty excited. And then we are getting what looks to be a very nice and expensive looking helmet, and with working lights, which is pretty cool, and I can't really tell if it's like a helmet or just kind of a display thing. I would lean more towards a display thing just because of the way it comes in that box and just with the lights, it looks kind of like a display item that I think will be really cool, kind of reminiscent of the Halo 3 um, Legendary Edition helmet, but just a lot better, or not a lot better, but we'll see, a lot bigger with working lights, and obviously I'm sure it'll be a lot more expensive, but it does look pretty cool, and I think that it's cool that we're getting that, especially when all of us were really worried with Wicked Cool Toys being kind of like makers of Fortnite toys and just things like that. I do think that's cool and kind of reassuring. Then we are, for the first time in years, probably since McFarlane, getting a couple of box sets, which are awesome. I believe these are the ones that come with the 3.75 inch figures, so that is really cool. And first is going to be Master Chief holding the Hydra. I believe it's the Hydra. This may be like a new iteration of the Hydra for Halo 5, so I can't really tell. And this is something really interesting that they have with a few of these box sets. They just have the villain to be decided. So obviously, <laughs> like, they're doing that to prevent spoilers. We don't know who the villain of the game is really going to be. I think most of us were probably assuming Cortana, so it could be Cortana, but maybe she has like a new villain. Maybe the Warden Eternal is going to come back. We just don't really know. So yeah, that's the first box set. Looks pretty cool. The next one's going to be another Spartan with what I believe looks to be the Mark V B helmet from Reach. I could possibly be wrong. Again, the pictures are really blurry, but I believe that is going to be with possibly the same villain or a different villain from the game. Obviously, McFarlane especially, they would like duplicate a lot of their figures with some of their box sets. So we don't know if it could be a different villain or who knows, it could be Cortana, one could be Warden Eternal, or it could be an entirely new character that we don't know about. Either way, I think that's pretty cool. And then the other set we are getting is possibly what looks to be a UNSC pilot or a new ODST design. This figure kind of shows up a bunch in a lot of these uh, Wicked Cool Toys figures, and I can't really tell. I'm leaning more towards an ODST in a lot of them, but the colors are very reminiscent of a lot of uh, UNSC pilot design that we'd seen for years from Halo, so we'll just have to wait and see. But this one does look to come with a very, very classic looking grunt, which I think is awesome, and a classic BR, so obviously, 343 continuously going with the more classic art style, especially that grunt looks beautiful, I think that's really cool, and obviously the classic BR look is just iconic and awesome. And then they do have, we don't really know what these are, but I believe it could be another box set because they're kind of categorized with the box set stuff, another Mark V Blue Spartan with an Elite General, which I also think looks very cool. So that is cool, box sets, I'm excited. Next, let's move on to the 3.75 inch figures, which I think is really cool that we are getting a lot of variety in sizes with Wicked Cool Toys. We are getting three and a quarter inch figures, and they all come with stands, which I also think is cool. And going through these figures, the first one is going to be the pilot from the opening cutscene that we saw at E3 last year. So I think that's cool. It seems like he's going to play a decently large part in the game. He's obviously getting his own figure, so that's pretty awesome. Next is a classic looking jackal with a plasma pistol. Obviously, plasma pistols were going to be in the game, but official confirmation which is cool. Next we are getting Chief with an AR, obviously it's Chief. Then we are getting an ODST with a weapon that I can't really make out. Again, it could be like a Hydra or it just could be something else, I can't really tell. But again, 
as I talk about this more later with more clear pictures, I may be able to get a better look. And then we are getting a Mark V B, again, I believe, White Spartan with a classic BR. So that is really cool. I'm excited about the 3.75 inch figures. I think it's cool that they all come with stands. And I'm excited about, like I said, the size variety. Next are 6.5 inch figures, which I think is interesting because McFarlane and Mattel's all baseline figures were all 6 inches. And Wicked Cool Toys is going with a six and a half inch figure, which I think is pretty cool. And I think it's cool to kind of differentiate, differentiate themselves with a slightly different scale. So I'm excited. They all also seem to come with different hands, which is nice because that's a thing that I think should be pretty typical with any figures, especially if they're going to charge $20, which I assume they might. Again, we don't know the, si the prices for any of these, but if they are going to charge $20, I think that's pretty reasonable to expect a bunch of different hands to come with them. So obviously first is Chief with an AR. Then it looks to be Cat, I believe. I just, that iconic air assault with those colors, and she looks like she has the robot arm is got to be cat and I assume she is going to come with a pistol then we are getting those same two red and white Mark V B Spartans, which again, not sure if they're characters or something as a lot of this point, because they are showing up in a bunch of these figures. They could be characters in the game. Those could just be two figures that they just <laughs> want to keep making in all the different sizes, part of their like wave kind of stay consistent. So either way, that's cool, and I just am assuming that they're just two Spartans, um, that they're just keeping consistent throughout each of their different scales, and that is cool. So yeah, the six and a half inch figures, I think it's cool that we're getting them. And like I said, I think it's kind of cool that the sizes are slightly different than Mattel's and McFarlane's. Next is going to be the 12 inch figures, which are making a return. These are figures I've never really been interested in. They definitely have like a, like, I guess more kiddie appeal to them. And be just because of the way they're kind of scaled and the way they look, I don't love them. Still though, I think it's cool. Like I said, the more the better. I like more variety. We are getting Chief, of course, and then Tanaka, which is a very interesting pick. The only character in this to be from like another game that's not Chief, which is very interesting. The only one that we've seen, so I assume there will be more. We don't really know if Osiris is going to be in the game. I assume they'd have to be to continue the story naturally from uh, Halo 5, but we also know that people weren't huge fans of them, so we'll have to see how they turn out. I assume they will be in the game at least somewhat, along with Blue Team. So if we do get figures of all of them again from a new company, I think that'd be cool. Either way, Tanaka is an interesting pick. Then once again, that Mark or that red Mark V B Spartan, and then that same ODST or UNSC pilot that we've been seeing in all of these figures, but once again, leaning more towards the ODST look. And finally, we're, we are getting some video, uh, vehicle sets for these figures, and the first one's going to be a Mongoose with Master Chief and a Spanker rocket launcher. Obviously the Spanker, an iconic weapon, it's back, and that's awesome. And this also is pretty much our best look that we get from these pictures at the Chief figure, and I really like the Mongoose design as well, and the colors for it for Infinite, I think it looks pretty cool. And I think the Chief figure also looks pretty solid. I do believe this is the 3.75 inch Chief figure, so just keep that in mind. And honestly when I look at it, although I do think the figure looks pretty good, I feel like the helmet sculpt does look a little weird. And this, like I said, I assume is going to be the 3.75 inch design, so I'm sure there's a good chance it will improve with the bigger uh, designs, like the 6.5 inch. If we get a closer look at it, I assume it will look pretty good. We are also getting a Warthog with a Chief figure, which looks great and pretty much exactly how you expect. And just pretty much with McFarlane since we didn't, or not McFarlane, with Mc, Mattel since we didn't really get any big vehicle ones besides the, like, the Ghost with the UNSC thing and that was just like a pose thing. That was really weird how they did that and that came with that, uh, the Ghost and the Elite Officer and the first wave of Mattel. That was really weird and we didn't get any other vehicles from them. So I think it's cool that we're getting vehicles once again from a Halo toy maker. And yeah guys, that is all of Halo Infinite figures that we have news on. I, like, when I woke up this morning and saw this news, I was honestly super excited, and I still am excited, and I honestly, we didn't really, people were expecting to get a bunch of information about the game from these figures, and we really didn't get much other than some designs from some of the, like, characters, and again, you can't really trust, like, a lot of this, because although they are, like I said, branding a lot of it as Halo Infinite, they are making like a lot of legacy figures and a lot of things tied to older games. So you can't really trust, like Carter's not gonna be in the game, Cat's not gonna be in the game, unless they are somehow, but they're not. So you can't really trust a lot of that. So we don't know like a lot of these designs, if we can really trust them. Same with like the Mega Constructs things lately, like we saw that one of them could be rebuilt as a boat and the people are like, is that water combat confirmed? And it's like, no, it's just, We'll just have to wait and see. So although it was nice getting this little uh, like droplets of information about the game and some more, especially the art related stuff like the BR looks and the Spangers and just these weapons that are going to be in the game that we already knew about still, it is cool getting those little bits of news and I am excited. So like I said, I probably will do another video on everything Halo from Toy Fair because A Thousand Toys is still going to obviously show off their stuff and we are going to get 
maybe some more stuff from Nerf, and then Mega Construct stuff will probably get some more, and just like Dark Horse may have some stuff, so we'll have to see. I will have a video, like I said, on everything Halo from Toy Fair when we have more pictures of other booths, and when we have way better pictures of this booth, because there is stuff that I just couldn't make out and couldn't tell. Anyways, you guys saw the pictures. We can all speculate together. Let me know what you thought about it. Do you think those Mark V red and white figures are something significant, or if they're just figures? Do you even think that's the Mark V B from Halo Reach? I'm pretty sure it is. But yeah, just let me know what you think about all that. And like I said, this is really cool and I am really excited, especially being a big Halo collector, seeing this many new Halo figures all in one place and from a new company. So yeah, I'll, like I said, I'll have another video out soon for you guys. In the meantime, let me know what you thought about all these figures and the next era of Halo collectibles for Infinite down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, Majestic Gaming.